Hi, my name is Emma. I'm 11 years old and I am from Philly. During this COVID-19 crisis, a lot of health issues have sparked. In this segment, I will be discussing three tips of advice to try and help prevent these things from starting. Today is also very exciting because I have Chelsea here with me. Say hi, Chels. Hi. She's going to help me discuss these reasonings. So we really hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is disinfecting and Cloroxing often used surfaces. Do you think this is important, Chelsea? Yes, I think this is crucial because all those things that you touch every day and even the things you don't touch get really gross and disgusting and everyone else is touching them and just keep them clean. I definitely agree with you on that. Doorknobs that you use after going to public places. Maybe you take the train. Definitely when you get home, disinfect the doorknob because you're putting all those germs that were on the train, they go to your hands, right? Because you're on yeah. public transportation and you carry those germs inside your house. So definitely disinfect your doorknobs, your remote, your phone, all those types of things, you know? Yep. I totally um, have the same mind with you with that. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is washing your hands. Oh my gosh, that's so essential. Washing your hands is so essential. Even if you think you don't need to wash your hands, you may need to wash your hands. Before you eat, you have all those germs on your hands. So wash your hands. After you come back from doing something outside your house, wash your hands, you know? Yeah, because you don't know. Also, this goes along with the um, disinfecting thing. You don't know where other things have been, and you don't want to spread germs to yourself or your family or your pets or your friends. I definitely agree with you on that. Especially, please, cough with your arm don't cough and let all the spit travel cough with your arm you know use your arm when you're coughing and sneeze when you cough and sneeze to guard all of those little germs from traveling out of your mouth and everywhere spreading and maybe if you do do that definitely wash your hands yeah cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough or after you blow your nose wash your hands yeah, you don't want to get other people sick just because you're sick, and you want to keep all the germs to yourself so they don't spread, and this probably happened how the coronavirus came around and got so terrible. I actually remember something about public transportation. Some people don't even bother to touch, but I was watching a video of people who were using the pole on public transportation to hold on to, and they had wrapped their arm around it instead of wrapping their hands around it, you know? Yeah, I saw another video, like a news thing, about that. Like, you don't touch that because that thing is so disgusting. Even... Yeah. Ew. You know, there's so many germs that are on it, you know? But you still want to hold on to something because you don't want to go flying. If yeah, you I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely... Definitely agree with that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is social distancing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Social distancing is kind of key right now. We want to make sure we're six feet apart with someone. Like, you're walking with someone, make sure you're six feet apart, you know? Yeah. Because, but don't, like, stay in your house all day. And unless you are very immune, it might be hard for some people to just stay in your house all day. Yeah, so go outside, get some fresh air. Just make sure to keep your distance with people. Yeah, make sure you're not, like, right next to someone. Unless you live with them, then it's inevitable that you're going to touch them. I definitely think so. Because keeping social distance is really important right now, don't you think? Yeah, because there, it takes, I'm pretty sure I heard something, it takes, like, up to two weeks to see symptoms. So someone can have it that you're right next to and you don't even know it you don't even know it's very invisible on kids you know yes it's kind of honestly like, yeah kids get sick all the time so and people get sick all the time so it could just be something that people think that's not that bad and it's actually that bad it's it's it can be very terrible especially with people who are more immune to get it you know yeah 
Well, I definitely think that all of these tips are really good with trying to stay safe. And especially for people who are out and about all the time, making sure that you wash your hands after you're out of public places and to be more careful around you. Yeah, because sometimes other people have to still go to their jobs. They still have to get groceries. They still have to do all these things. But this is how you can keep yourself safe. So we really hope you enjoy. Chelsea, say bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. And stay safe. Have a good day. Stay germ-free, safe, not bored, and we hope you enjoy. Bye.